Right, good evening. These are exciting times for UKIP, and as you can see, I can hardly contain myself with excitement. <laughs> European elections and county elections on the same day, May the 22nd. We welcome our Yorkshire and North Lincolnshire MEP candidates joining our team of local councillors and candidates. The destiny of both the council and European elections go hand in hand. The success we may have in our local elections will be mirrored to a large extent by the success of our prospective MEPs. We wish Jane Collins, Mike Hookham and Gary Shaws every success as they attempt to fill the shoes vacated by Godfrey Bloom and his larger than life political persona. One thing is certain, when Godfrey spoke on the issues of the day, people listened. And I am sure that our new UKIP MEPs will quickly establish a similar stature as they represent our region in the European Parliament. UKIP MEPs have a tradition to uphold a robust political challenge, both in Brussels and at home in the UK, speaking openly on the issues of the day, but never letting our opponents forget that UKIP is a non-racial and non-sectarian party. UKIP is the only party that, in the UK that is prepared to expose the inner workings of the EU and the total lack of democracy and accountability. We also welcome the UKIP Deputy Leader, Paul Nuttall, MEP to North East Lincolnshire, and we look forward to hearing his speech here tonight. The visit by Paul Nuttall to Grimsby is a reward and a recognition of the hard work and the progress that has been made by the UKIP Grimsby and Cleethorpes branch in recent years. As we know, this area is a hotbed of Eurosceptic voters, as identified in the 2012 Police Commissioner elections and in local council elections. The catalyst for this Eurosceptic voting here in this authority started to manifest in the 2010 general election. Yes, it is true to say that in NELC we have an intelligent electorate. We are a party in a hurry. We are building a fully functioning political party. Councillors are that essential ingredient in this structure. Councillors beget members of Parliament. The recent excellent results that UKIP have had in parliamentary by-elections such as Eastleigh, Rotherham and yet another tedious second place just last week in Withenshaw and Sale East has come despite UKIP not having that solid foundations of councillors in place. This is changing. In North East Links we have three councillors a fact we could not have imagined a couple of years ago. And I pause to pay tribute to the late Jackie Morgan, who helped found the Grimsby branch along with our chairman, John Stockton, when the ink on the Maastricht Treaty was still wet. We have seen amazing results in county elections in 2013, especially in Lincolnshire, and we salute their success. Councillors are the key to parliamentary and European election success. The first past the post electoral system in local government is not the friend of the underdog. The often used phrase uttered by our opponents are, a vote for UKIP is a wasted vote. And UKIP cannot win here. Real positive stuff. Well, the rationale behind this is evaporating fast, as UKIP are now competing strongly in the first past the post game with a rapidly improving election campaign team and the growing trust of the electorate. Within NELC, our UK group of three councils is projecting a positive image as we serve our electorate to the best of our ability. As UK councillors in the NEL Chamber, we work with the other parties in the joint ambition of making NELC a better place to live and work. We do so, however, never forgetting that we are UK first and UK second. Our UK membership here in NELC is increasing, and this mirrors the national membership trend. We are expanding this membership into branches in the outlying areas of the Cleethorpes constituency, in places such as Barton. The telephone box UKIP used to use for branch meetings is now redundant. <laughs> All ruling groups at times make unpopular decisions, and life for council, so councils cannot be easy when trying to survive in the scenario of severe financial cuts from a government trying to repair the economic legacy of new Labour. We do have sympathy with the local Labour administration in NELC, charged with setting a budget. Why then would they want to make themselves unpopular by failing to listen to public opinion on issues such as Scarthos Swimming Pool? This is what the NELC ruling group has done. UKIP would certainly have listened and responded by keeping Scarthos Swimming Pool open and hopefully saved a bit of cash in the process. And we would never have sanctioned those hideous block paving schemes in our town centres. <laughs> Thank you.
UKIP would also be prepared to question government house building targets, especially in our open green spaces. To be honest, in, in the past I had considered the UKIP policy of local referendum to be of little value and expensive, but not now. What price democracy? We see housing developments and wind turbines being built against the wishes of local people, and I now champion the UKIP policy on local and national binding referendum. More and more people are becoming disillusioned with a political system that seems distant and irrelevant to them. A system that fails to recognise local concerns and aspirations. There has to be a better way of finding consensus and giving localism a backbone. The UKIP Local Government Manifesto sets out the UKIP vision for local government. Sadly, the European Union does interfere, not just at a national level, but at a local level, and increasingly so. The EU is the elephant in the room, responsible for mass lunacy. Even the atrocious flooding experienced in Somerset due to a fa failure to dredge the rivers can be tra tracked back to the EU, interference in our land management. As the then Environment Agency Chairman, Baroness Young, put it in 2007, giving evidence on the EU Water Framework Directive in reference to habitat creation, it is a sort of instant wildlife, just add water. There is no better example of the job destruction capability of the EU than our own fishing industry here in Grimsby. In 1970, the industry provided a living for 6,000 Grimsby fishermen and 40,000 dependent land-based jobs, according to the European Commission. This industry has been severely damaged by the UK entry into the common market, the common fisheries policy, and the designation of the UK's territorial waters as a common resource. And yes, my father was a trawler skipper. UKIP will challenge the cost that local councils endure due to directives such as procurement rules, landfill tax and the Energy Efficiency Directive. We will also continue to highlight the cost inflicted by uncontrolled immigration such as interpretation services and demand on our employment prospects, housing, hospitals and schools. We will continue to expose the EU directives delivering fuel poverty to our residents in NELC and higher energy costs that make our industry in NELC less competitive. We will also never forget the damage done to our post office network by EU directives that forced competition into a market that did not need competition. EU, EU direct costs are easy to identify using treasury figures, but the subtle costs endured at a local council level are not transparent. No amount of rhetoric coming from David Cameron can change the fact that the steady erosion of UK sovereignty continues as he grapples with his referendum promise, his renegotiation fairy tale, and growing Euroscepticism in the UK. If UKIP did not exist, the issue of Europe would be forgotten, and the UK would disappear into the history books as a relic of the past, invaded, conquered and subdued without a shot being fired. An invasion completed by stealth. Therefore, UKIP are tasked with the epic job of building our own People's Party with councillors and members of Parliament. We have an ambition locally to increase the number of councillors that we have in North East Lincolnshire in the May council elections. We do not set ourselves targets other than to do the best we possibly can through our own hard work. No prediction to sweeping gains, just a promise to represent the electorate. UKIP is on trial and under scrutiny like never before. And UKIP will therefore be judged by the way councillors represent the electorate, not just in NELC, but throughout the UK. So we move forward, fighting every election, making it clear the only deals we are interested in are the ones on the shelves at Tesco's. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you.